I'm Clara. Last week we introduced the solution for laser cutting problem of cutting head venting but no moving. Did you check it? Please click the video up here for more. Today, this video will be the first one of September. I will continue the August topic. It's the laser source problem. No laser beam emission for IPD well as laser source. Here, please remember, it's for fiber laser carting machine, not marking, cleaning, or welding equipment. And do confirm your control system is SEPCAT. Any doubt or question, please leave it in the comment below. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thanks a lot. Due to the high value of the laser source, please don't do any changes to the laser source itself unless you get permission from the supplier. The same, let's take 20 seconds to see the map first. Please don't go away. If we encounter this problem, first check whether we have enabled the shutter because there's a laser beam emission only after the shutter has turned down. Please check whether the button shutter is on green color. If we cannot let the shutter on, we need to come to machine configure tool. Here, if you do not familiar with machine configure tool or SEPCAT, please click the playlist up here to learn from the complete SEPCAT tutorials. In machine configure tool, we need to check which communicating way the IPG laser is wave. If it's a hardware control IPG laser, we need to check in three cases. First, we can update the SEPCAT software, download the nearest version from the website below in the description and install it. See whether the problem is fixed. Second, we need to confirm whether the wires connection and configuration are set properly here. The machine configure tool Third, if it's a new version laser source, some inner changes happened. Please change it to the night communication. If it's communicate with IPG laser using night, we need to check in five cases. First, we can update the SEPCAT software, download the newest version from the website below in the description and install it. See whether the problem is fixed. Second, confirm whether the IP address is correct. Default 192.168.100.1. If the default address has been changed, we need to confirm it in Laser Night software. If you are using IPD laser source, laser night shouldn't be a stranger for you. Third, we need to confirm the IPG address in network adapter is correct. Fourth, we need to check whether the case switch has turned to test or wrong. Fifth, if the laser source is American version, please press down start. If all the above cases have been ruled out, please contact IPG. If the shutter is powerful, we need to click laser and check whether there is laser beam emission. If there is laser beam emission in clicking laser but no laser beam for cutting, we need to check the peak power, duty cycle and pulse frequency in laser parameter settings. They should be set in a reasonable range. 
which will allow the laser beam out. I suggest peak power should more than 20%, duty cycle more than 10%, and pulse frequency more than 5Hz. If there's no laser beam emission in clicking laser, three steps to go. First, we need to check whether the parameters are set in a reasonable range, which will allow the laser beam out. I suggest burst pulse frequency more than 100 Hz, burst peak power more than 50%, and burst more than 5%. Then when shutter and laser are both on, we need to confirm whether the pulse number are corresponding to the wires connections. If PWM wires run through a relay, the PWM enable is necessary to set in machine configure tool. If it's hardware control IPD laser, the DA select is necessary to set in machine configure tool. Last, if we check above two cases, both normal but still no laser beam, we need to measure the PWM output signal and the corresponding DA output signal on the control board with a multimeter. Among them, P positive and P negative correspond to the PWM output signal. Dial one up and two down the normal voltage corresponding to 100% PWM signal is 22 volt, 50% co corresponding to 11 volt, and so on. When dialing one down, two up, the normal voltage corresponding to 100% PWM signal is 4 volt, 50% is 2 volt, and so on. D1 and D2 correspond to the D1 and D2 signals respectively. The value in monitor of the control card should be consistent with the actual measured value. If there is a problem with the measured voltage, we can troubleshoot the problem by comparing the measured voltage values with and without wearing. If the voltage is tested to be normal, we can tell that the laser cannot receive the output signal of the control board. Please check whether the signal transmission line has problems such as poor contact. If still unable to resolve, please contact IPD. If the voltage is tested to be abnormal or zero, two conditions. If the PWM output is abnormal, it's necessary to remove the wearing of P positive and P negative before marrying the voltage. If the output of DA is abnormal, it's necessary to marry the voltage after removing the wearing of D positive and D negative. If the voltage is normal after removing the wires, please check whether the signal transmission line has problems such as poor contact. If still unable to resolve, please contact IPD. If the voltage is still tested to be abnormal, the output signal of the control board may be abnormal. Please check whether the 62 core wire is in good contact or whether there's any abnormal pin. If everything is normal, we need to replace the motion card in the computer and then check whether the problem is gone. If your laser is under warranty, please do remember to consult with your supplier first. Thank you for joining me here today and please share my channel with your friends if you like me or my channel. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.